Workforce management cannot be imagined without software support. For a long time, Excel was the tool of choice. The multitude of mapping options, as well as the availability of formulas and macros, make for a very flexible solution. However, editing formulas manually can easily lead to errors, and the use of physical files renders data consolidation and integration impossible. With complex requirements, Excel reaches its limits. That is why there have been specialized workforce management applications since the mid-1990s. They give a specific structure to data and rules. This structure organizes huge amounts of data. However, this comes at a cost, reduced flexibility, because data model and logic are fixed. What worked well in the past is nowadays too inflexible, especially in an agile environment. To meet the current requirements, there is a need for a workforce management software that is not restricted to just one data model. A solution that combines the flexibility of Excel with the power of a specialized software solution. For Workforce Plus, Inform has therefore developed the new DI technology. DI stands for Deductive Intelligence. Based on methods from artificial intelligence, it represents application logic as a series of flexible deduction rules. The result is a novel kind of software architecture. Fundamentally, every software application consists of four levels. The technical level represents a kind of operating system for the application. It contains basic functionality, for example, persistence mechanisms. On the next level, logic and data structures are implemented. Interdependencies between the different data records are formulated, for example, working time rules. Within the limits of the given data model, parameterization allows for changes to system settings, for example, of weekly working times. The user interface is the visible interaction level with the user. In conventional software applications, the two lowermost levels are inseparably linked. This has an impact when changes are necessary. One example is the integration of carpools. Carpools weren't a topic 20 years ago. Nowadays, they are part of modern mobility, particularly for people on low incomes. In order to align working times for employees sharing a carpool, employees need to be linked. Not by department, not by function, but based on a new criterion. Carpools cannot be added via the user interface. The same is true at the parameterization level. If carpools are not already represented in the data model, there are simply no suitable parameters. Therefore, the change needs to be applied at the level of logic and data structures. Because the two lowermost levels are linked in conventional systems, the technical level is inevitably affected. In Workforce Plus, logic and data structures are separated from the technical level thanks to deductive intelligence. With the novel ROX modeling language, they can be changed without touching the technical level. ROX is modular and allows for the flexible combination of modules. An extensive library of existing modules is available for this purpose. For specific extensions, additional modules are created and integrated into the system. Within the modules, the logic is defined in a problem-oriented way by deduction rules. Unlike conventional imperative programming languages, deduction rules represent logical relationships in a declarative way, without dictating an execution strategy. The DI engine, the technical level of Workforce Plus, can therefore optimize execution strategies, for example, using parallel processing. At first glance, the separation of technical level and logic may seem like a small change. However, this overturns the basic rules of software development. It enables for customization without the costs and risks of customized software. ROX enables individual adaptations of logic and data structures without the usual route via a development team. The risk of bugs and instabilities decreases considerably. Software testing is accelerated. Delivery times decrease. The flexibility increases. Further information on DI technology can be found online. 